personal insult. Uh, famed defense attorney Scott Rosenblum. Scott, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. How are you? Can I assume yesterday was a simple a mistake and it wasn't a slight on my part? I would never slight you. Okay, good. Fair enough. All right, good. Uh, you are the attorney for Nelly, and he got into some uh, a bad story over the weekend. He was uh, arrested on charges of uh, rape. You're out talking. First of all, what, what's, your, what's the official position on you and Nelly on this? Well, he was, uh, he was booked and released. So just to be clear, he was never charged. He never had to post a bond or bail. Um, he was held for about an hour and photographed and fingerprinted and then released pending further investigation. Our, our position is we certainly welcome a further investigation. We've been doing a parallel investigation, and it's our belief that once an investigation, a thorough investigation is done, I don't think we will have to contend with charges. Um, I think that, uh, you know, it's my position and that, that everything I've seen so far is that this is a completely fabricated allegation. People have various motives for doing that. It's not the first time. It won't be the last time, especially when you're dealing with a celebrity. Are you cooperating with the police up in Washington? We are. Uh, how long do you think this investigation will go on? I wish I knew that answer, but you can never tell. I mean, a lot of it's, you know, there's moving parts. There's uh, potentially um, physical evidence, such as uh, videos that you have to gather um, a number of witnesses that need to be talked to. We're, we're in the process of doing that now. I would assume law enforcement is doing the same. We're sharing information. I'm actually sharing any reports that I get from witnesses as soon as I get them. And uh, so far, it's been a, a pretty simpatico relationship between our camp and, and law enforcement to move this forward. Are you, uh, do, do these, do, uh, did Nelly and this woman know each other? Were they friends? Was this some type of, uh, some type of consensual situation? You know, it's not, I don't think it's really appropriate to sort of drill down on the facts, other than I will again tell you that um, Nellie is, is absolutely innocent, and I feel completely comfortable in saying and confident that at the end of this investigation that he will be exonerated. You and Nellie are both talking in this situation where normally lawyers tell their client, don't say anything, and the lawyers don't say anything. Why are you using, why, why are you going this, this route now? Well, you're right, and I'm not, it's typically not something I want to do, but this is a situation where um, it was just by the nature of the allegation, it can cause such economic harm to an individual, especially when it's a false allegation. I think you, to a certain extent, have to address it. Uh, is Nelly back um, on stage? Is he back to his normal r routine? Well, he missed one show. Um, and there hasn't been a show, a, a subsequent show that would come up in the rotation. So that's to be determined. Scott Rosenblum, defense attorney uh, and a defense attorney for Nelly. Scott, thanks for checking in. You're always welcome here. Thank you.